Shogun is faithful to James Clavell's 1975 best-selling historical novel, which itself is based on actual 1600 political events in Japan. The Takagawa shogunate was an isolationist government that ruled for more than 250 years. Shogun describes the circumstances that led to its establishment. A shaky truce based on formalities and red tape is in danger of collapsing, ushering in a new phase of brutal conquering warfare. Shogun's authors persist in producing a grandiose show while maintaining a meaningful narrative. When episode 4 airs on March 12, 2024 on FX and Hulu, let's hope that stars Hiroyuki Sanada, Anna Sawai and Cosmo Jarvis continue to turn in some of their best performances to date. In episode 4, Lady Mariko and John Blackthorne are becoming more intimate. In order to locate Toronaga and his crew, Lord Ishido discloses his strategy. The council is still trying to figure out what will happen next. Ishido Kazunori is playing checkers in Shogun episode 3, while Yoshi Toronaga is playing chess. With his back to the wall, Toronaga uses his newfound friendship with John Blackthorne to play hardball with Ishido and his intention to impeach him. Yabushige is questioned by Yoshi Toronaga regarding his involvement with Ishido's plan to kill Blackthorne. Yabushige informs him that in return for his assistance, Ishido promised him a position on the council. He sought Toronaga to extend his fief over the Suruga province, claiming he was uninterested in the seat. Toronaga promises to deliver it to him if he can get his Anjin, Lady Kiri, and crew to the Ajuro fishing town. The crew of Toronaga is attacked by Lord Kiyama's warriors along the route. They do understand that Toronaga is there though and that he is attempting to get away from Osaka. Bunturo is left behind, but the crew manages to flee to the boats along the way. While the group escapes, he battles the troops till the very end. Lord Kiyama's troops arrive at the ship and wait to stop them from passing. Blackthorn advises them to try to go to the black ship and claims that if they try to pass, they would all perish. Toronaga gets on board to speak with the captain. The captain says that although he will assist, there will be a price. In exchange for the priest being given the city of Edo, where he can erect a church, Toronaga offers him half of the gold they take from Macau. The council meets with Lord Ishido to decide on their next course of action. The fact that Ishido let the barbarian to get away annoys the group. Lord Hiromatsu adjourned the meeting and said that Lord Teranaga had resigned from the council for personal reasons. Because Taniko stated that a vote to remove Toranaga would require five votes, they are unable to cast an impeachment ballot.